Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we are learning how to create donut in Blender version 3.5. Without wasting my time guys, let's jump straight into today's tutorial. So as you can see, this is the layout section under the edit mode. First of all, select the default cube and press X on your keyboard to delete the default cube. Okay, as you can see quickly, when you open Blender for the first time, uh, you will see the camera and the light, all of them together. Because I don't need the camera and the light right now, that is why I unhide it right here. So the next thing that you have to do is to press Shift A, select Mesh, under the Mesh, choose Torres or do not. Click on this button right here, which is the Add Torres. Make sure you increase the major radius to the size that you like after that make sure you increase the minor radius too after that set your major segments to 40 and set your minor segment to 16 after that increase the minor radius to 2.8 okay and let's press the middle mouse button to check something right over here so let's increase our major radius a little bit 4.2 okay so guys this is how our uh, donut look like for the meantime so make sure you scroll down using the middle mouse button and let's activate the camera so as you can see guys the donut is bigger than the camera so let's press n to bring our properties tab which is this very one right here. Select the donut first and press X to scale it down. Okay, guys, so after scaling the donuts down, make sure you press Ctrl A to apply transformation or apply scale. So as you can see with this size, the scale is on the same level, but you have to apply scale. So when press Ctrl A, to bring the apply menu and you select skill and guys you can see that all the skill on these as is are set to one okay so when you are done with that the next thing that we will do is to add a modifier so select your donut click on the modifier to add modifier select subdivision surfaces Increase the number of levels to two. And guys, as you can see, we have this fine face right over here. After that, right click on it and click on shade smooth. Make sure you check the auto and you are done with it. Okay, guys, so as you can see, this is our premature donut right over here so when you zoom it this is what you get and when you zoom out using the middle mouse this is what you see all right so let's quickly press tab to switch to edit mode so guys here in edit mode we can add so many effects to our donut so as you can see in edit mode we have three faces we have vectors mode edge mode and face mode so what you use currently is the vertex mode okay so with the vector mode you can select each vectors on the donut and add some manipulations to it okay so without wasting my time let's see if you can add something to it so guys in edit mode we have proportional editing and um g to grab and do some manipulations to whatever object or cube that we are working with okay so let's quickly press o to select the proportional editing or you can manually edit the proportional editing by pressing this tab right over here so as you can see let's select one of the vertices and press g so as you can see this is the size of my proportional editing 
so when i press the middle mouse you can see that it's dragging or it's decreasing the radius of the proportional editing okay so let's try and add some adjustments to our donuts so guys after the proportional editing this is how your donut will look like so make sure you press o and press a to select everything and let's see what we will get okay so after that select select look for select random and let's decrease the ratio to something like uh, this okay so guys that is it okay guys so our next thing is to uh, how to add icing to our donut okay so make sure you press one to go to the front view mode select x-ray mode after selecting x-ray mode draw a box to select half of the mesh and then pre press shift d to duplicate it right click on it and press p after pressing p it will bring the separate menu make sure you select make sure you click on selection to select the new item okay so let's bring back our solid view first tab to switch to edit mode and as you can see guys we have our main donut and our icing so as you can see our icing is a little bit not looking good that kind of form so let's do something to our icing let's click on the modify to select add modifier and let's add solidify okay So make sure you increase the off thickness to okay, let's see eleven is okay. Minus seven. So I think uh this size is okay so i think 0 0.14 for the thickness is okay and minus 0 0.73 is okay for the offset okay so the next thing that we are coming to do is to select this one and hover it on top of this so that we will get something like this okay guys so this is our donut in the making so as you can see this is what we have right now as our icing in blender version 3.5 thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe see you in the next part bye bye